Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Galveston, Texas, for the don'ts of visiting Galveston. And I know that Galveston is famous for the beaches here. I mean, people come here to hit the beach and enjoy, and there are 32 miles of coastline when you are here, of beaches for you to enjoy. But my first don't for you is, don't think that it's just beaches when you come to Galveston. Galveston actually has a ton of things for you to enjoy when you're here. You can be at the Galveston Island State Park and you can go kayaking and going on some of the trails. You can go fishing. Yes, there are all kinds of, you can go out, you know, doing all kinds of adventure activities. But for me, the big don't about don't think it's just beaches is don't forget the historic center of Galveston because Galveston you know, a lot of people just think it's beaches and that's it. It's not just a beach town. It's an actual town that has history. For example, you go to the Strand. The Strand is a street and the part of that street actually has quite a few buildings that have been restored. They're just these beautiful historic buildings that are now restaurants and shops. You can go and shop in and get some tasty grub when you're here. And I'll talk about the food later, but there's all kinds of historic homes you can see around town. Going to see the Bishop's Palace. I mean, that is some, that's gorgeous. My kids are like, dad, they have a castle in Texas. I'm like, yeah, I can see how you'd say that. And the, the church right across the street from it's gorgeous. You can see the opera house. There's a lot of historic homes you can go around and see. And that's why I think it's really important for you to realize that, look, get off the beach and go see those historic homes. Go see the historic buildings and realize that, wait, Galveston's a real city that happens to have a beach versus a beach town that just is a beach town. I mean, that's one of the things I think is really important to know. And the thing is, it's not just the historic homes you can go and enjoy. There's actually a lot of museums you can see when you are here. Yes, you can go see the Seaport Museum. You can go, there's a railroad museum. Um, there's actually, with you know, when you drive in, you see all the oil refineries and stuff. You can actually go on an oil rig. There's a museum there and you can see what it's like to be on one. You have the Bryan Museum for Art from the West to the U.S. you can go and check out. I mean, there's a lot of really nice museums to see when you are here. So if you do have one of those rainy days or a chilly day or you're like, oh, I'm so burned from the sun, I don't want to go. I you got plenty to do when you're here. And the thing is, so we've got the, you know, not just the beaches, but you, you know, you don't just have the historic stuff. You don't just have the museums. You also have all the fun things to do when you're here. Schlitterbahn, yes, well, there's a Schlitterbahn here. The water park, that is so cool to check out. You gotta go there. You've got Moody Gardens. So when you come in, you'll see these big pyramids, right? And there's, they're there and you got the aquarium there. There's the, the, the rainforest pyramid, the discovery pyramid, really great to see. Liam and I actually really enjoyed it. We went to the aquarium, had a wonderful day there. So there's that to see. But also so there's all the things. If you can do your mini golf and your go-karting like you have in the usual beach resorts, they've got that here too, okay? So I know that's a long don't. It's a lot of stuff to see and do and don't not do when you are here, but I wanted to get those out of the way because the second don't I have for you is, of course, don't forget to enjoy the beach when you're here. Yes, bring your beach accoutrement when you do come and go and enjoy, whether you're on the seawall watching the people go by. I mean, yesterday, I just watched two kids, you know, two a brother and sister fighting over their scooters. I'm like, you guys are crazy, but they're having a fun time with it and you have all these people that are out enjoying the beach when you are there and that's why when you're on the seawall when you're on the beaches there you'll see the historic pleasure pier that's there that you know it goes out with all the rides and the ferris wheel and the little thing that shoots you up and stuff like that and there's games you can do there so if you're here and it's open definitely go to check that out to have that real like i'm on the beach kind of kind of feel to it the vibe and that's one of the things that's what people think of when they think of galveston are these beaches and the thing is is my next don't for you is don't forget that Galveston is an island. The reason I say that is because Galveston, since it's an island, you get gorgeous sunrises and gorgeous sunsets when you're here. So you can let your body clock decide which one of those two you wanna go see, because not everybody's getting up before the crack of dawn to see things. So you have those beautiful sunsets you can enjoy as well. Now, another thing I think is important, and this is anywhere you go on beaches, but here you need to pay attention is, is uh, don't forget to watch your step by the seawall. So the seawall, there, there's a seawall, and then the beach is below there and the thing is the seawall there's no like guardrail or anything like that so you'll see little kids run you're like stop because they just oh, boom off the side also adults or maybe people that had a few too many uh, lone stars or shiner barks they might whoops so do be careful <laughs> that little drop off there but also do be careful no matter what beach you're going to here in galveston make sure you look for the signs is it say don't you know no no swimming here or is it okay to swim you, you want to make sure you're checking those things out just to be safe just like any beach you go to and that's why also the usual beach don't 
Don't forget to bring your sunblock, your sun hat, your sun protection, but also maybe some bug protection as well, because yes, you're gonna be here and it's gonna be hot and sunny and you're gonna like, oh, I just wanna be in the water, but reflection, it can actually burn you even more. So do be careful with that. Now you're starting to see why I did all those non-beach things first, because a lot of the don'ts are for the beaches. And, and I think another important don't I have for when you go to the beach here is don't feed the seagulls. Look, seagulls, they're flying rats. They are not majestic birds of majesty. No, they're flying rats, okay? So you feed them, they keep coming and that annoys everybody. So try to keep from feeding them. And, and I know your kids are like, oh, birdies. No, no, I've had to be like, no, dudes, no. Don't feed the seagulls. Now, if you're looking for feeding, not the seagulls, but yourself, my next don't for you is don't worry about eating here in Galveston. There is a full range of restaurants and prices of restaurants for tourists to come here. Look, Galveston is set up for wealthy tourists, middle-class tourists, you know, campers and stuff like that. They've got stuff for everybody. And what's cool is that's the same thing for the restaurants. If you want that fancy restaurant, you know, I want some fancy food when I'm here. I got the Gulf here. I want all that fancy seafood and stuff. They've got that. If you're here on a budget, they've got the fast food options too and everything in between. And it's not just, you know, seafood and Texas barbecue. No, we've had Greek food when we've been here. There's Italian places that are here. There's, I mean, of course you got text messages when you're here. There's all kinds of great food to have when you're here, but there's great food at all kinds of different prices. And that's what's nice about coming here. That, that's one of the things is don't think Galveston it, is only for one economic group. I've been very happy to see that Galveston is really set up to like all families, all people can come here and afford to stay with accommodation or with, with place to eat and things to do. So that is kind of cool. And I guess that's another don't I would say, you know, don't worry about accommodation because there's a lot of variety here. Yes, they have resorts and spas you can go to. There's plain resorts, there's hotels, there's condos you can stand. You can rent a beach house when you're here. There's a lot of options and they're pretty easy to get except during high season. So make sure if you're gonna come during high season or you know holiday weekends kind of stuff, make sure you're booking in advance so you do have accommodation when you come. But otherwise, I mean, it is really nicely set up for tourists. And I know I said all these things about how there's prices that are fine for everybody. I will warn you, um, don't get too much sticker shock when you go to Moody Gardens, um, because if you get the entire package of seeing everything there, the, the sticker shock might shock you. I mean you can divide it up so maybe you just want to go to the aquarium so maybe be judicious on the things you want to see there um for example it was liam and i that went to the aquarium okay so that kind of helps out so just, just have a heads up for that when you do go because that's one of those cool things to do that you know, can be a bit pricey if you do you know you go all in now it's cool and everything's worth seeing but just be ready for that now another don't i have for you is i know i've talked about you know the historic homes in galveston the actual city and we talked about the beaches but another don't i have for you is don't forget to check out galveston island state park there's a lot of nice little hikes you can go through and lookout points you can go kayaking there i enjoy would actually doing the hikes through the park there's some nice stuff you can do when you are here it's five bucks per person when you come i didn't think that was too bad and it's the, the people are nice they give you a nice map tell you where to go that was another nice thing to check out when you were here um i think another don't i have is when you drive into galveston you're coming in you got uh, houston traffic is horrible just just horrible um but when you come in that's not what gets you what gets you when you come in is you're probably gonna see a lot of refineries when you're coming in you're like well am i going into some dystopian future when i'm coming here and i would say my don't for that is don't get like disheartened by seeing all the refineries when you're coming in okay because once you get to galveston you don't really see any of them okay it's not really affecting your trip when you're here but it does give you this kind of ominous feel when you're driving in i mean there's one place where there's like a fun park outside in the middle of all of them you're like that's an odd place to be but it is one of those things it's a bit weird especially coming at night you're like am i entering the matrix what's going what's going on here so the kids were like dad is this an okay part of my dad just refineries dude it's okay it's okay <laughs> so it's still something to think about and i and i guess as I, I mentioned the houston traffic i guess another don't i have for you is don't be ashamed if you use galveston as your base and you do day trips to houston or you just stay in Galveston, don't even get to Houston. I mean, Houston's one of the largest cities, metropolitan areas in the United States. And Houston does have some cool stuff to see. The museum district there, definitely worth checking out. The Children's Museum there, really top notch. You got the Space Center that's there. There's a lot of really cool, the great shopping, great food, lots of stuff you can do in Houston. But if you're coming for a relaxing vacation, I would stay in Galveston and do the day trip to Houston. And it's about an hour, hour or so, depending on traffic, <laughs> hour or so to get to Houston so you can enjoy that. But honestly, Galveston, 
has been a really, really nice place for us to go. We actually got a house rental on the beach by Jamaica Beach farther down the way. And we were driving into town to see stuff. I mean, it is really a nice place. So I hope this helps you know more about what to do or what not to do, what not not to do, do uh, when you do come here to Galveston. If you want to learn more about coming to Texas, we've got the Don'ts of Visiting Texas, Shocks of Visiting Texas. We got stuff on Dallas, Austin, uh, San Antonio, all kinds of places for you to enjoy this beautiful state. And I wish you all the best. I'll say bye from here in Galveston. Well, I should say on Galveston Island in Texas. Bye.